Love smarter, not harder. Today's question. Hi, Dr. Karen. A friend of mine set me up on a date. We had a lot in common and I could tell we fancied each other. And it's a rarity that I find a man who I fancy physically as well as mentally. He wanted to meet for another date when suddenly the lockdown occurred. Since then, we've been, take, we've been talking a lot, sometimes daily, and never more than a few days apart. I found myself looking forward to his texts and slowly building more trust in him. But lately, I've not had such good communication from him, which bothers me. I know he's busy and so am I, but I felt that he's been distant with me and his texts have been few and far between such that now it's been nearly two weeks of no communication from him. So I decided to lean back. I'm also on dating sites and lo and behold, I stumbled upon his entire profile on one of the sites, which was bothersome because he's not so busy that he can't have a profile up, but he can't seem to manage to communicate with me on the emotional level that I need. I don't know how to approach this. I need your help. Thanks in advance from your avid fan. So this is just disappointing because you had a nice first date. And like you said, it's rare that you find someone who you find so attractive physically and mentally. And then you had this momentum building and then lockdown, but he's still communicating and you're still establishing a nice foundation for this relationship. And you start thinking, yeah, maybe there's some potential here. Maybe when the restrictions lift, we could have a proper relationship. And then the texts and the communication starts to dissipate. And then for the last two weeks, you've essentially been ghosted. So I have some thoughts, three episodes too, that I wanna to direct you to. In the last episode that I did, we're on break between season three and four, but episode 89, how to know if you've met the one plus ghosting during the time of Corona. And that's a very similar situation to what you're experiencing here. So I think if you listen to my answer to that woman, I think that might be helpful. Also, Dan shares his thoughts from the male perspective. Also, episode 69 is called Closure, Why It's So Hard to Get and Give. Because here you have two weeks of no contact. And then, so the decision is, like you said, do you continue to lean back or do you try to seek out some sort of closure? So I, I share some thoughts in that episode that I think will be helpful. And then finally, episode 30, ghosting, cowardice or kindness. Again, I think if you listen to that, those three episodes, you can at least get some different opinions and start to formulate your approach. So there's really two things you can do. One is to continue to lean back and just let it go, right? And personally, if I were you, I would have done exactly what you did. Once the communication started to, uh, to lessen, I would have just leaned back. I want a guy who wants to pursue me. And that just feels comfortable for me, for him to be showing me that he wants my attention and he wants to be in my life. And this man was doing this for a while. And now he's clearly, like you said, he's, putting his attention elsewhere because he's on these dating sites and we don't know what else is going on with him. The other thing you can do is to have like a final conversation or you can call him, you can text him, you can email and say something along the lines of, hey, I was really enjoying getting to know you and clearly with lockdown, everything's kind of out of sorts, but when the restrictions lift and we could uh, meet up again, I would love to do so if that's something you're interested in. You know, just kind of a very benign, just like I'm still interested and then leave it alone. I mean, you could do more than that, but I personally wouldn't because if you do more than that, it could come off as very combative. And really during this time, everything's just so off that personally, if I were you, I wouldn't want to burn a bridge because maybe he would want to date in a normal fashion afterwards. I, I, but also, what he's doing right now is suggesting that he is putting his attention elsewhere. So that's information that you also want to take very seriously. So it's up to you. There's really no right or wrong answer here. And I mean, I can't tell you exactly what to do. Cause like I said, there's no just correct approach. It's just stylistic. What feels better for you? Like I said, if I were you, I'd probably just pull back all the way because it's only been one date and you really didn't have enough of a relationship established to maybe, and to my mind, to go ahead and have some big closure conversation. That's just my approach. And he's got your number, and if he wants to reach out, he can. But I don't think there's any harm if it feels more comfortable for you to have that last conversation. That's a choice as well. But like I said, I think those three podcast episodes will give you a little bit more information as you make your decision. And 
I'm sorry. It's frustrating and I do hope this helps.